Hello and welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer and this video is a first in a series called What is wrong with this picture? Let's have a closer look. This is a neo-Romanesque church of Clairvaux in Luxembourg. It's quite an impressive building, but this image doesn't do it justice. For once, there are those horrible converging lines. And you can see that they are not even symmetrical. If you look at the center line of the church, you see that the whole image is tilted slightly to the right. And this results in a distorted view of that church. The converging lines are due to the fact that the camera had to be tilted upwards. But look at the towers here. The left one seems to be taller than the right one, which of course is not true. And the reason for that is that the photographer, that's me in this case, didn't stand right in front of the church, but a bit to the left, or maybe not a bit, but quite a bit to the left. And this results in a distorted perspective. And you can see um, part of the left wall of this tower. And if you look at the other tower, there's the, the wall is hardly visible. So we are looking at this church slightly from the left and therefore the, t the towers are not the same height in the image. All this is really horrible, doesn't look good, completely distorted. That is not what we would like to have. Now, in the first place, the photographer should, in this case, stand right in front of the church, which, which was not possible because to a building here on the right, I couldn't get right to the center line of the building. So no ch chance here. What's more, the lighting is quite dull. It's not interesting. You see it's an um, overcast sky. So very soft lighting, but very uninteresting lighting. Uh, th this doesn't help either. Now, could we do something about this in post-processing? Well, yes, to a limited extent. In this image, the converging lines are gone and also the horizontal distortion has been corrected. You see that most of the surroundings of the church has been lost due to the correction of the converging lines. So whenever you do something like this in post-processing, make sure that you have a lot, of, a lot of space around your subject so that you can do this. Now, this one is better than the first one. Still, it looks a bit weird. The reason is, again, that I didn't stand right in front of the church, but was offset to the left. And you see that the tower on the right seems to be fatter than the than the tower on the left and this is of course an optical illusion it's not true it's um, due to the fact that I had to correct the horizontal distortion this right tower here gets a little fatter than than the left one so in the image that is not not in reality of course so it does look not quite right it's better than the first one, the original one, but it's still not okay. So the lesson we can learn from this is if you do architecture photo photography, just try to avoid these mistakes in the first place because they are generally not completely um, removable or you can't get rid of them in post-processing at least not completely. And of course, all this doesn't change the dull gray sky and um, the boring lighting conditions. And of course, 
we can't change the lighting conditions in post-processing and we have to live with it. We could perhaps exchange the dull gray sky with a more interesting one, but uh, well, um, really the, the lighting conditions remain the same. And um, so I think it's not worth doing. Okay, let's have a direct comparison between the two images. Correcting the converging lines and the perspective distortion is an improvement, obviously, but it's still not a good image. So there we are. Please let me know in the comments if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.